Fire, <laughs> Mount Rainier, <laughs> Goat Lake, <laughs> Fire, 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 Mount Adams. Trout week at around six o'clock yesterday. Only did a few miles, set up camp, started thundering, lightning about uh, six in the morning today. Started hiking around 6.30 and it's supposed to rain until about three o'clock on and off. So there's a little bit of a break in the rain right now, which is great. Um, GoPro battery is dead and it's buried at the bottom of Lauren's backpack. So I'll be using my phone for the next few hours until we have time to grab that out of there. Um, we are about 60 miles away from Cracker Barrel, which is a, I don't think it's a town, I think it's just a gas station. Uh, that's where we're going to be sending our resupply. And unfortunately, we're going to have to carry a bear canister because this next section coming up requires a bear canister now. So that's kind of a bummer. Uh, it should only be, I think, a few days with the bear canister though, so it's not too bad. And we are about, I don't know, maybe 400 miles away from the border right now, so getting pretty close to the terminus. <laughs> miles away from Cracker Barrel. Uh, today's gonna be an exciting day. We are hiking Knife's Edge. I've always really, really looked forward to this section and I'm, I'm excited to actually do it. Um, weather's great. No chance of rain today. Beautiful blue skies. No smoke in the air, thank God. And yeah, it should be a really good day. Fire, Mount Rainier, 
Goat Lake. <laughs> fire. Fire. Fire, fire, fire. Mount Adams. We are about to start the Knife's Edge alternate. I think we're about 20 miles away from Cracker Barrel. It's gonna be a really fun section. Just left Cracker Barrel. We're hiking towards Snoqualmie. Got the bear cans. Mine's empty. My food's inside my pack. It's so damn heavy. Lauren's got hers too. Turns out we could have done bear hangs. We didn't read the read the fine line, but uh, bear hangs were also allowed or approved rather than using a bear can. I think we were the only people at Cracker Barrel that had bear cans, <laughs> so that kind of sucks. But it's only five days. Um, supposed to thunder tonight starting around 8 p.m. and it's going to be raining for the next three days straight pretty much there'll be a little breaks in the rain here and there but it's supposed to be a three-day storm it's really cold um, it's gonna be a rough section but I'm excited for it and excited to get to snow call me It rained all day yesterday. Got pretty soaked. Uh, woke up this morning. Turns out Eric and Radio, their gear got totally wet. Uh, they're both hiking in there. They're sleeping thermal layers right now. So they're both thinking about going to a road in about five miles and then trying to find a hitch into a town and then getting a motel and trying to dry off there. I think Lauren's also interested in that idea. Um, it's supposed to be a thunderstorm tonight and it's supposed to start snowing tomorrow. So getting dry does sound pretty darn good. 
Waiting out the storm does sound pretty darn good. We ended up doing the Zero in Enumclaw. Shipped the bear can home. Feels so much lighter. It turns out, yeah, that was the right move. It looks like a, a few hiking friends that are ahead of us. They got stuck in that storm because they didn't have a bailout area, bailout spot. And they said the storm was pretty brutal. Freezing rain, sleet, a little bit of snow. So looks like we made the right decision there. Uh, we should be in Snoqualmie in about three days, three and a half days. And we're gonna be staying in a hostel there doing a Nero. And then our next zero is in Leavenworth. And we got uh, new zippers for our tent ship there. Gonna have to replace the zippers on the inside now because those all failed. Um, yeah, just got a lot of errands and stuff to do. So gonna get all that done in Leavenworth. We're about two, two weeks away from the Canadian border. Tenception. <laughs> We're about 10 miles away from Snoqualmie. Rained pretty much all night. It wasn't too bad. It was kind of just like a heavy, heavy drizzle. Uh, luckily, all of our gears dry because by the time it started raining, we were already in our tents. Perfect timing. We're gonna head down to the brewery. Our hostel doesn't open up until noon, so we're gonna go get a drink and try to stay dry until the hostel opens up do some laundry and then we're spending the night there and then we're gonna hike out of Snoqualmie and we should be in Leavenworth in about three days three and a half days Did an overnight at WAC Washington Alpine Club. It was 
very, very cool hostel. Had a great time. Got our food resupplied thanks to Chris. And now we are hiking about 12, 14 miles uphill. Uh, getting back on trail. Should be in Leavenworth in about three and a half, maybe four days. And things are getting a little spooky with all the fires. It looks like uh, we might have to do some alternates. We might have to skip some miles. Uh, there's an airplane fire and there's another fire called the Blue Lake Fire. And they're both getting really, really close to the trail. So still not sure what we're doing yet. We're gonna give it a few days and see if things calm down a little bit, but it's not looking too, uh, too good right now, unfortunately. That is the sound of a marmot screaming. <laughs> and a little pika in the background. <laughs> Was that him? Wait, go back to him. Gonna try to sew it back together, see if it uh, see if it works. Super janky, but hopefully it'll last another 30 miles. We are about. I don't know, maybe a mile and a half away from camp. Uh, did 25 today. It was a rough 25 though. Washington. The mountains not, might not be super tall, but man, there are a lot of them. I'm just constantly going up and down all day. Uh, I think that leaves us, Lauren, how much does that leave us for tomorrow? 14, 14 miles tomorrow until we get out into the, the pass. That's gonna take us into Leavenworth. And we found a trail angel on Facebook that's gonna let us stay with her. We might stay with her one night and then stay another night in Leavenworth uh, in a hotel or something, not sure yet, but super excited to do zero and check out all the fun things in uh, the town of Leavenworth. Uh, yeah, that's all I got. Thank you. 